Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Manav Jha and in this video, we are going to talk about top 5 ways you can learn English language. This video generally talks about English language, but you can use these techniques to learn any other languages as well. Look, a good English speaking skill can take you mile ahead in your career. It helps you to get a job in MNC. It helps you talk to more diversified people or your business client. And it helps you with your so-called social status in the society. If you will meet someone from southern part of country where they don't speak Hindi much, there's high chances you guys will communicate in English language. So, till now we have discussed why you should learn English. Now, let's look at how you can learn English. Point number one of learning English is finding content that is relevant for you. You need to find out what kind of English you want to speak. There's two kinds of English, there's normal English and there's Shashi Tharoor English. Fluxinosine nihilipilification, defenestrate, agathocacological, and glossier. Jokes apart, but find out how much English you need to succeed in your career. Most of us don't need that level of English until or unless we want to become an author or something like that. We need to learn English for our daily conversation. We need to learn English to communicate our points to others. And you know, you only need to learn 3000 words and you will be able to communicate in English for daily conversation. Just go to Google, search for most used English word in daily conversation and learn it. Not memorize it, but learn it. Soon you will have so many words in your vocabulary that you can use in your day-to-day -day communication. Point number two is start listening to the language you want to learn. How did you learn your mother tongue when you were three or four? Whether it is Marathi, Gujarati, Punjabi, Maithili or Bhojpuri. How did you learn it? You didn't search it on YouTube, neither you joined any coaching classes. You learned it from listening and observing your family. You listen to how they speak, in what accent they speak and you try to imitate that. Same happens here. When you listen to English speaker, you observe how they are speaking, how they are constructing the sentences and what are the words they are using that you don't know. And I know if you haven't consumed any content in English before, it will be hard for you. But you gotta have to make your journey fun or you will give up. You can listen to English songs, you can watch stand-up comedies that are in English or you can watch shows like Friends that will entertain you as well as help you to understand English better. And the best way, if you are a cricket fan, say goodbye to Akash Chopra for some time and switch to English commentary. You will learn English with loads of entertainment. Point number three is start writing. Writing can be the most enjoyable and most annoying thing at the same time if you are a beginner. You will enjoy thinking, oh cool, I can write English way better than I can speak. But there will be moments where you will go like, okay, I'm out of words. I know I can write English, I have sentence in my mind, but I don't know how to put it on paper. This will force you to think, you will try to make good sentences in English. You will learn new words and writing declutters your mind as well. You don't need to write any fictional story or how this year budget will affect the country, etc, etc. Just write how was your day today? Why are you feeling happy, sad or emotional today? Just write whatever excites you and upgrade your topic as you upgrade your writing. I have filled this copy with writing and I don't even know what were the topics I was writing about at that time. Point number four is practice every day. You can listen to English commentary, you can learn those 3000 words, you can write as well. But if you don't practice speaking English, then you can't speak English, it's as simple as that. You have to speak for at least 20 minutes a day to improve your language. But what if I don't have any partner to speak to? Speak to yourself. The best way to learn anything faster is to put yourself out there on internet. This will help you to get instant feedback. But most of us are scared about what other people will say. And I know this feeling. It took me 15 minutes to upload my first reel on Instagram because I was too scared to press that share button. But what you can do is you can record yourself for one or two minutes every day. Take any random topic and start speaking on it. And after a month, you will see yourself as more confident and better English speaker. Point number five, don't care about what they say. Everyone has got their own journey. Some get the English speaking environment, some did not. If someone is speaking very good English, it doesn't mean that he has some specific knowledge. Language is just a skill and anyone can learn that. The only difference is someone will learn a language in three months while some might take six months depending on their environment. Remember, only insecure people will make fun of you. Otherwise, people are supportive. Also, in the journey of learning English language, don't forget your mother tongue. Be proud of your own language as well. And don't ever look down on someone who can't speak English properly. Correct them, but in a good manner. So this is it for this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend who is struggling to learn English. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.